Okay, so I want to just quickly go through and, and compare these four products. I've done individual reviews of all four of them. And I know there seems to be a, an odd one out there, but I'll explain in a second exactly why it's in there. Uh, I thought it would be interesting to see them side by side and, and just um, look over them uh, together. If you've missed any of the other uh, reviews, you can always uh, look back and uh, check each one of them out. What links these four products is, for me, the story behind it. So it all started with the Toologic Survival 2 card, which was the first one I saw and wanted. Now, it wasn't easy. I looked on the Toologic uh, website. And I believe the price of it was something like $25. Also, though living in Canada, shipping would cost uh, quite a bit. So I held off on that. In the meantime, I noticed that Amazon had it, but they, they were, um, I think, out of stock at the time. Another thing I noticed, though, right away, was that the Toologic Survival 2 card had a serrated blade. And when I looked at the other products, in terms of like the, the cards that Toologic has, I noticed that the Tool Lite 2 had the straight edge. So I thought, this is great. I'll just buy the Toologic Tool Lite 2 card and the Survival 2 card and then switch the blades. Figured I could probably put this one into my wallet this one perhaps into my uh, survival tin, into my Altoids tin for like a little survival kit and I thought everything was going to be great. I started looking for this at uh, local uh, outdoor stores so that I wouldn't have to pay for the shipping and handling and I came across the Victorinox Swiss Card Lite. Now this one is um, a bit more expensive paid 30 something odd dollars for it. I can't, exa I can't remember exactly how much. But, and, and even though it wasn't a survival card and I was very uh, shaky on the blade, I was also very curious. So I purchased it and uh, if you look at the review on it, I'm, it's actually um, something that I'm, I'm quite happy with. Uh, it's, it's a very good product. Also, while I looked at these on Amazon, I saw the Toologic Signal Fire. Now, this was in stock, so I very quickly purchased it, especially because it was at such a great price. I think it was like $5.75. And um, when I received it a couple days later, and if you look at my review on that, you'll see exactly why I was also so thrilled. It was good quality, it looked really good. Okay, notice also on these two products from Toologic that the whistle, and I'll place it this way, the whistle is exactly the same shape. And obviously this one's just a little bit longer when it doesn't actually need to be. But another thing to notice is that the flint could have been made in the same, with the same idea something that can be removed although obviously it, it would be nice to be able to buy replacements for it but that's one way this product could have been improved is to actually have a removable flint like this I realize that, that would make this product a little bit uh, wider to be able to fit the screw in there but I think it would be well worth it and this was my first tool logic product so I was very happy and really anxious to get my hands on these two. I actually ordered them from two different places. Uh, the Survival 2 card I believe I got from Amazon and the Tool Light 2 card I can't actually remember but it was a different website. But they arrived on the same day. And of course the first thing I do is take out the blades. And uh, we've already seen the problem with this one where I keep bringing little pieces of plastic with it and I'm all happy that I can now put this one in here but do you see what's happening? It slides right out. 
because this mechanism that I can't actually reach has been made for this blade, for this knife. Now if you're going to make two knives so similar, why wouldn't you make them the same? So they look the same here. When you look at it down here, the serrated one is actually a little bit longer and that's what makes it stay in here. Another thought I had was that the scissors being so nice and compact, I could also take them out uh, and use them inside of my Altoids tin. Seeing that the Survival 2 card does not have a pair of scissors. Now, again, if you look at my review on the Tool Light 2 card, you'll see these scissors are really not sharp. I guess I could always try to uh, sharpen them, but as they are, they're not very sharp. They'll cut paper and that's about it. I can't even cut paracord with it, so I don't really see the point. The Victoria Knox Swiss card light really uh, impressed me. I found that this little blade that's a, you know meant to be, I guess, like a little letter opener has got such a sharp blade, the scissors worked so well, um, you know, the light is so easy to get into as opposed to having to unscrew the, you know, take out the screws and all that. Which was why when I finished my uh, review of the Victorinox Swiss card light, I expressed, you know, a, a wish that Victorinox would actually create a survival card because I think they would do a much better job at it. I'm not completely against the survival 2 card. Um, it's It does have its good points but the Tool Light 2 card I'm very disappointed with because I really don't think it's, uh, it's enough. Now I didn't get these at the price that I saw on the Tool Logic uh, website so the Tool Logic website has them, I believe, at about $25, and I believe I purchased both of them at around $15, uh, so that wasn't too bad. And I didn't have to pay for the shipping and handling on the, on the Survival 2 card because I got it from uh, Amazon.ca. I did uh, pay for shipping on the Tool Light 2 card because I remember it was from an American uh, website, I can't remember which one it was, but I ordered other stuff as well. So. I would have had to pay for the shipping anyway. So yeah, that's my story on these four products and what led me to purchase them. And really, these two are thumbs up, really great. These two I have some issues with, especially this one. So yeah, that's pretty much what I'm happy and content with and not so happy. Please comment if you have any of these products. Maybe I'm not seeing things properly, but um, if you have any comments to make, please do so. And uh, if you like the video, please like the video and uh, subscribe. Also check out our blog at uh, www.campsmarts.com.